and mm, I don't know. And if oh my gosh, I don't know. And if you ever saw mm -hmm. her, you would even say it glows like a light bulb. <laughs> that is? Mm hmm. Yeah. Like a red light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's June. Six months till Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> we got some car and fort action over here. I'm kind of just straightening up the house, picking up, sweeping. Um, but I think I'm going to start getting ready for the day now. I'm just cleaning in here. And <laughs> my things are cracking me up. This is what I look It's so hard to film in here because my window back there. Um, makes it more like silhouette-y. Oh, my camera's adjusting. This is, I always see mommy vloggers like vlogging in the morning, like getting their kids breakfast ready and like starting their day and they always have like matchy cute, cute outfits on and it always looks so good and I'm like, shorts, Ryan's t-shirt and a hot mess. Grandma hair, cute. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. Um, I just got out of the shower. My hair is really, really dry. Um, I need to, I don't know. I need new hair care products. Where is this one? So, these I've used for a while. Over here. I've used these for a while and I absolutely love them. This is the KMS Tame Frizz. Um, I'm also growing out my bangs, so they're kind of a lot. Um, but yeah, I use this and I really, really like it. I've used it for a while. I just put it in my damp hair. And then this is. <sighs> Why am I out of breath? I literally can't breathe. And then this. I've used forever. This is the Kenra blow dry spray um, and it smells like candy. It's absolutely love it. Um, and then I just spray this before I blow dry my help hair and it helps with frizz and it helps to cut drying time down. Um, but we are going to go look at some flooring today because I have to start thinking about the nursery, which is so exciting. Uh, I have a couple ideas floating around in my head, but the way that <laughs> the nursery is set up that we're going to use, it's just, it's so hard for me to get my mind wrapped around it. Like, I can't envision anything in that room because it's, it's really a hot mess. Um, my, I think I had mentioned that we had put down Bella. Um, she was old and she was doing a lot of things that were out of character and just like, so... Sawyer's room and the um, room that's going to be the nursery, I would leave the doors open and I didn't really like anybody in there because it had carpet and when we first moved in, she would come in from the dirt backyard and go into the carpet rooms and roll around and so she kind of stained them up, which wasn't horrible, it was dirt, whatever. Um, but as the years went on, um, she would, when we were gone, she would take stuff out of the pantry and she would run into those rooms and tear it apart in the rooms. And I don't, we don't ever go back there because I didn't want anybody back there because of the carpet. Um, and so I just, it went on and I didn't really know about it. There was also times where we would be gone and she would go back there and she'd go party on the carpet and it would sit there because I didn't know she went over there and did it until... Um, I started smelling something and I was like, where is that smell coming from? Couldn't figure it out. Went into that back hall. Um, I can't explain how much we don't go back there. Like none of Sawyer's clothes are back there. Like everything's just in my room and like I keep all his toys in like this other room that we use for a playroom. So then I go back there and I just like seen the carpets. There were Starbucks cups. There was just a bunch of stuff in there that I literally had no clue that were in there. So the carpets are thrashed. Not only are they thrashed, but they're super bad quality, so nothing comes out of them. 
Um, I can't get any stains up. I can't get any smells out. The carpets are already like, like, um, stretched and like coming off of the like foundation or whatever, um, which we've been in this house for three and a half years, so shouldn't be happening. So anyways, it's just super hard for me. So nobody's allowed back there. Like Sawyer's not even allowed, allowed in his room. He hasn't been for two years. So those floorings just need to be completely ripped out. I cannot envision this nursery in this, in the, um, in that room because it's just so bad. It's so bad. The carpet is so brown and so messed up. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go look at some flooring today and I think my mom's going to come with me, rise at work. So I'll have to be doing it by myself. Um, I found one that I absolutely loved and fell in love with, but it's just not affordable. It's like 470, I think a square foot and it's just, that's a lot. So I'm really going to try and find something similar in color that I like and just hopefully, um, hopefully I can find something. I kind of have one option that I found yesterday, but I'm not obsessed with it because I keep comparing it to the original and I, I don't know, I kind of just need to stop, but we'll see what we find. So we're going to head out and do that, um, in a minute. So I'm going to finish getting ready and do my hair. I feel like I told you guys that story and it just shouldn't have taken that long, so my bad. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, so I just curled my hair and now I'm going to put on some makeup, which I don't I really don't want to do, but I don't want to look like a hot mess going into flooring places so i'm gonna do um some like light makeup i used to do such heavy and like makeup just because i enjoyed it like i had a lot of fun doing my makeup um and then i guess probably since i've been struggling with skin like my skin so much like it i hate doing my makeup i pretty much don't wear anything um because it's depressing caking makeup on to like problem areas um it doesn't look good and it just makes me sad so i have been trying to leave makeup off and really just let my face like dry out especially because it's summer and i've been in the pool and stuff and it has but like it's just very frustrating so i just cut my hair um i used my lange lange um wand how big is this one i wish i would say it on here i don't think it does but i love this one because for some reason i have the one inch one and although i love it like right when i curl my hair my hair doesn't keep the curls for some reason but it'll keep them from this one so anyways i just curled my hair and then i'm gonna have to go in and straighten my bangs after i do my makeup but i'm going to go for just like a little bit of a lighter look um this is the foundation this is the primer that I use it's by NYX I do really like it it gets pretty tacky um and it does feel hydrating and then this is the um foundation I've been using it's physician's formula butter believe it I never get foundations to match my face correctly it just doesn't happen for me no matter what I do um they always end up oxidizing on me or they end up just looking orange <laughs> They never really work um and i just got a new color like literally i don't know four days ago and it's already it already looks too light but i don't think you'll be able to tell on the camera and then i'm i'm in like a brush phase i've used beauty builders for years but right now look at this look at this cute mirror how freaking adorable is that I got it at Walmart in the confetti moves and stuff. It's clearly for little girls, but <laughs> anyway, I've been using Beauty Blenders for years and I was lazy and didn't want to wash them the other day. So I just grabbed like a brush and what are we doing? Like, what are we doing? I miss the brushes a lot. I think it applies really, really good. 
and your product goes way farther which I totally don't even think about when I'm using a beauty blender. So I try not to put the foundation on my on my nose because I don't know for some reason it always rubs off on my nose and it looks bad so lately I've just been leaving it off and I feel like my makeup wears a little better like that. But like I put a half a pump of this foundation on my little palette and I'm not going to use the rest of it like that my beauty blender would have sucked that up in two seconds. You like how I am using a mirror but I'm not. So I'm just really trying to go for like light coverage and really blend it in. You can still see all my problem spots which I'm just trying to be okay with at this point. Um, because I feel like the more that I try to cover them, the more they look, the more it just doesn't look good. So I'm really starting to think less is more these days, even though I'm clearly not, um, what's the word? Like as glam, I'm not as glam. So then I'm just taking this little, uh, instant age rewind to conceal. And then I'm just going to, again, not to conceal. It's a, it's Adrian Wynn concealer, but I'm just using it to kind of like bronze up my face because that foundation was a little light and I might have put too much. Put some on my eyes. Really just trying to warm up my face a little bit. I see a lot of um, YouTubers use that one brand where everything is like cream and it's in a palette and I really really want to try that but I think I've looked at it before and it's it's really expensive so this is pretty much the makeup I'm doing these days and then I have a Laura, Merc Laura Mercier powder Been using this real techniques brush for like 10 years and then i'm just gonna set my under eyes like lightly i don't want to go for like the big look or anything i'm probably going to come home later and take off this makeup to get in the pool so i just don't want any like major creasing even though you know what i really haven't found that setting it helps hella i almost think it emphasizes it sometimes um, and then I'm going to go in with like an eyebrow gel I use from NYX that I think I'm out of. It's this. And I really like it, but I had to put, um, brown eyeshadow in it to kind of give it like a color because it was clear and you can see it like sitting in my eyebrows. Sorry about being out of breath, you guys. <laughs> um, also I've been doing my own eyebrows like tweezing them um for years because i can never get somebody i love threading but i can never get somebody who didn't make them skinny so i grew them out and like started doing them myself and i'm so mad it's the first time i've ever messed them up on my own i accidentally like basically chopped this one off <laughs> i don't know if you can tell but um oops and usually i'll go through with like a i'll show you this which is amazing i absolutely love it you could do like individual hair strokes with it and i love it um and so usually i've been going in and elongating this tail since i said i chopped it but i'm too lazy for that today so then i'm gonna go in with this physician's formula highlighter and it's very pretty and i'm gonna take a little morphe brush Kind of dabble that in there. And just highlight under my brow and kind of like the surrounding area of my eye. And this does have pretty big like glitter flakes. Um, but I like that. I don't think I'm ever not going to like glitter. 
I love glitter so much. I'm so blind, even with contacts, I can't even see in my mirror. That mirror. Um, and then yeah, that's my makeup. I'm gonna straighten my bangs. Okay, so just finished getting ready. Here are what my curls look like. I don't know if you guys can see them. But like, they don't come out super small, but they last way longer. I don't know, way better for me. Um, and this is my outfit. I just have some maternity jean shorts on. I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> I'm a little short. Uh, with my, with my bump. How do you show off the pump? I don't even know if you can see it. My camera's weird. Uh, but yeah, now I'm gonna go get soy ready and we are going to head out. Look at all the foundation that I wasted because I used a brush and not a beauty blender. I don't know, I might be like bringing the brushes back for me personally. Hi there, thank you for choosing Sonic. What can I get for you? Uh, hi, one second please. Sure, take your time walk whenever you're ready. What kind of slushie did you want, babe? What kind of grape? Grape slushy, cream slush or regular slushy? Cream. Cream? Okay. Okay, um, could I please get a small grape cream slush? Okay. And then can I get a medium peach slushy? Okay. And that will be it. Okay, your total is seven sixty three. Thank you. You're very welcome. You can't get it? It's probably just a little too thick right now, baby. Um, like it's hard to come up through the straw. Okay, so we just got Sonic. Um, because it's extremely hot outside right now and now we are going to the flooring place. My mom didn't end up coming with us because um, she was waiting on her trailer to get worked on and it wasn't done. So it's just me and Soy. And now we can go. Okay, to the flooring place. Okay. Me and Soy got some lunch. Oh my gosh, my bangs are literally out of this world. Like, I need to thin them out really bad. If they would just swoop this way, but whatever. Just don't pay attention to them, okay? Me and so I got some lunch. Just some Sonic this morning before we ran around. Um, and then we just got some Chick-fil-A right now. Haven't had Chick-fil-A in like probably like a year. It's been a while. No, that's a lie. I think I had it like, I think I had it for breakfast a couple months ago. But, um... Yeah, so I'm gonna eat some lunch. Um, and then I think we're gonna head out to the pool. I got a fry, chicken nugs, and that Chick-fil-A sauce. So good. Let me show you um, the flooring samples I got. Okay, so I'm really hungry, but I really wanna show you guys these. So um, the original flooring that I fell in love with was 428 a square foot, and it's just a little higher than we're wanting to pay because they would basically come out to like um, three grand for three rooms, super small rooms, um, over three grand, over almost four grand, I think, for three rooms, 540 square feet because you have to get the pad underneath too. Um, it just sucks because I absolutely fell in love with the color. It was like very neutral, but had undertones of gray, but it didn't look like a gray floor. Um, it was really pretty. So I'm trying to find a better option price-wise, but I'm just not finding the color, but I think I'm just gonna have to settle on one. Um, it's the bedrooms, they are small, so it's not like a ton of flooring is gonna be exposed. Um, because like the crib, the bed, the dresser, everything doesn't leave a lot of room. So I'm thinking um, that'll help. But let me show you the closest I've got so far to those colors. And I'm sure that these colors aren't going to pick up right either because they literally change lighting from like room to room. So okay. I usually grab two swatches of everything just so I can like put them together and have a bit better swatch. Okay, so 
This one I'm almost positive is a no. This is by Pergo Outlast. And this is Golden Rustic Oak. So this, to me, shows up a little too... See, and it doesn't show up like that on camera. But this, to me, shows up a little too yellowy. So I think this is out. You can kind of see it in certain lighting. There you go. It's a little orangey to me. Like, it's a little too warm. So I think that one's for sure out. Um, and then... This one, I think I ended up ruling out because the grain in here is white and I just don't love that. So let's see if I could get you guys like a good, it's kind of like pinky too. Um, I'll try and show you better lighting too, like I'll lay them out, but it's really hard to pick up on them. Um, and then this one right here is crema oak. This is one of the swatches I found today. So this one is a little lighter, more gray, but also has um, those white grains in there that kind of throw me off. But I don't know if you guys can tell the color of this. You can kind of see it when I flip it. They all look so different, but yet so alike. It's bizarre. Um, this is Ocean View Oak. So this is one that I also found today. Looks very similar to the one I just showed you, except it's a lot more white. I really wish this was showing up. There you go. I think I just had to get closer. So this one's a lot more white and gray. Let me try and show you that last one again. They do look very similar, but this one has like pink in it, I feel like. Let's see. Can you see what I'm talking about? You totally cannot, can you? Oh yeah, a little bit. See how you can see like some pink in it? Gosh, the colors change so much that it's literally hard because I'm like, oh, I love it in this lighting. And then I'm like, oh, I hate it in that lighting. Bizarre. Okay, so this is, I think one of my top options this one is called leaf maple um and i think this is what i'm gonna go for my only complaint on it is to me the wood grain looks a little digital like printed it's not as like grooved like if you could hear versus like that so it looks a little more digital, but also, like I said, I don't think a lot of it is going to be exposed. Oh my God, shut up. That was a freaking rock. Anyways, I don't think a lot of it's going to be exposed, so I don't know if it's going to, going to matter that much. So I'm going to eat. I'm going to go ahead and swim it. It's 102, so. Okay, we, my mom just got here. We're going to go out in the backyard. And I got to grab so some swim trunks. Let me show you guys. Okay, don't judge. I'm being real vulnerable, okay? I told you why the carpet looks like this. It's not like shit smeared into my carpet, okay? I mean, <laughs> I mean it is shit, but not actual shit. <laughs> so this is where she would take food, and I had no clue for the longest time because we just didn't come back here. Um... But this is Soy's room. I don't think I've ever showed you his room because I never fully finished it. Um, but this is his room. And this was his set from when he was a baby. This was his crib. This is his changing dresser. Um, I'm obsessed with his wall, his black stained wall. Absolutely love it. I feel like it's going to be perfect in here all the years of his life. Um, this got to go. Like, this is just so bad. So this will be the nursery. Right now I just have all of like my beauty stuff from when I, you know, did like hair stored in here. I have, um, I like this where I sit and do my nails. I have some baby stuff from storage. And um, this is where I'm kind of just, hey, remember there's, there's, um, I know, but don't come in because you're Nikki. Um, but yeah, it's a hot mess. So it's just, it sucks because I don't have room in here for much because there's a closet, there's a door on this whole wall, there's a door. Um, so basically the crib can only go on this wall 
and then I need a changing dresser like what he has one that stops right there like I can't put anything tall because it'll block the sunlight so these are some colors I'm kind of looking at not very can't really see them too well in here but some blues I have this is a blue swatch too so kind of just all over the place but trying to find a floor that I like so and now let me show you the swatches but see like it's so weird they look different in here because um the the light in here I feel like is warmer but <laughs> I don't know so these are all the swatches so this I think I'm out um this one I think I'm out I do like this one but I think it's a little too gray wait are these the same just a different variation huh yeah and then this one, I think it's the one with the pink undertones. I think that one's out. See, it looks pinky. So I think I'm in between these two. So that's a lot more gray and that's a lot more neutral. So I think I'm going to end up going with this one. But, um, so the flooring that I fell in love with. Oh my gosh, I literally can't like look at myself. The flooring that I fell in love with um, that I said was like 477 a square foot and it's just too too high. Um, he actually messaged me and was like, hey, just getting back to you. Um, see where you were at. And I had told him, unfortunately, your guys' quote was the highest and I'm, I'm waiting for other quotes right now. Um, but I have gotten some in that were significantly lower. Um, and I said that kind of trying to give him an in to maybe say like oh well we can work with you um on the price or throw in a discount or something like that um if he could but he didn't so so i didn't think anything of it just thought okay you know they can't come down that's fine it's their business but I'm, i clearly can't go with them because it's just too much so um he was like i'll check back in with you on monday because just because i didn't have the heart to be like sorry you're, we, we can't go with you so um then I went out today and I looked at some stuff. These are all the swatches I got. And he had texted me again. He's like, just checking in with you. And I was like, honestly, um, I'm, I'm looking for around 330 a square foot. Um, and I don't expect you guys to come down to that at all. And that's completely fine. I just wanted to say thank you so much for taking the time, you know, to um, help. So he sent me some pictures of flooring he had for $2.99, and it was super dark gray flooring. And I was like, thank you so much again, but I'm really not looking for a, a gray floor. Um, then he freaking wrote me back. He was like, I'm going to redo your whole quote, and I'm going to try and get you at 3.30. Yes. Like, what? That, that would be awesome, because I absolutely love it. So we'll see if he could do that. Um, we'll see. We'll see if he could do that. So... I texted the screenshot to Ryan and I'm like super excited and he hasn't said anything back so we'll see but those are all, those are my options I think this this is probably what I'm going to go with if we don't end up getting the stuff that I really like so no we're going to go swimming and it is what time is it I don't even know 4.35 oh Ryan just texted me what did he say <laughs> he liked it <laughs> okay I officially have a swimmer and I Make can't sure believe it. Make sure you clear that step. Remember, jump in the middle of the water fountain, babe. There you go. Officially have a swimmer and I could not be more proud. Like, he has shocked the heck out of me. He learned how to swim, jump, get his face wet all within like two weeks. Because before he was afraid of literally everything. So good. All right, guys, I am calling it a night here. We were outside swimming, and um, Rye's home. Soy's running around naked somewhere. So I'm going to call the video here. Oh, I keep forgetting my screen is cracked, and I keep seeing something on my head. We'll get skin update, acne update. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see what me and Soy have going on in the next videos, then please subscribe, and we will see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Oh. Say bye guys. Bye.